this is what harvested soya beans looks like. I'm standing here at Riverview. I could give you a very quick pan around so you can see where I am. And behind me are these soya bean plants that have been harvested. So, what does that mean? The harvest is on and that's what we're looking at in this video. Greetings from the farm. Hope you're well. Thank you very much for joining us again here on the Mondo Farms channel. My name is Chisha Folatia and I am so happy with what I'm seeing right in front of me. So here at the farm, we plant, we nurture, we put uh, insecticides, pesticides, herbicides, um, we weed, we just basically look after these crops. And for the last couple of months, um, we've been looking after this stuff. And when you see a harvest like this, stay with us. So our 2022 soya beans harvest started a couple of weeks ago and this is where what we have here. I'm standing at Riverview. Uh, some of you may remember this structure. There's the other structure behind me. Uh, that's the one where we put the onions and in a couple of weeks we'll be putting some of our maize harvest. Uh, that's still on the ground and looking kind of good, looking kind of good. Today's one of those happy videos, not those sad doom and gloom real farming situation because look harvesting is also part of the real farming you know because when i see these heaps of, of soya beans here ah oh man <sighs> at least because we've really put in a lot of time and effort into our first ever soya beans crop so i've shown you a couple of videos um before and we've looked at various aspects of the soya beans but this is where it all comes down to and this is where it ends Soya beans, Lukanga. I was see your beans. Eh? I want to go to Lukanga and call it potty. Jerusalem, Sea beans have not to harvest. Also, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Kennedy comment is to harvest soya beans. Then we go block side, get side, we are going to get.
Loading as we are busy, ya ko river side one. So here we have a couple of heaps of the soya beans. First of all, looking at the soya, oh, you know how soya looks. This is a dry soya stalk plant. And in here are the pods. And if we open the pod, let me try and see. If the thing is filming, you have to do everything. Oh, there we go. There we go. And those are the actual soya beans. And that contains all the nutrition, all the oil, and everything that we that we planned for. Um, we've got this tiny uh, tent here, as you can see, underneath there. There's tents, and uh, the reason is that is because as it dries, it is shattering. Some of you may remember from your biology and uh, agri lessons that uh, beans is one of those that's called the seed dispersal method. You would die. I think that's the, tra the translation. So that's why we put the, the, the blue tarpaulin down here and whatever is coming here. We're going to be keeping them here uh, for a little while. Beautiful, beautiful beans, beans. I don't know, it's soya beans. It's our first time planting soya beans here at the farm, so we still have quite a lot to learn. And uh, we did two hectares uh, in general, one hectare of a Pana variety and another hectare of a Lukanga um, variety by Afrosid. And so far we've had a very good results. We used early maturing, as we said earlier in the other videos, because the, the uh, thingy came in late. The rain started just about Christmas. That's why I think. So generally, I think we're quite happy with this harvest. Try not to make the hips go too high, but we had an issue of limited space with the uh, number of uh, my tents that we have, as we use the tents for other things. So they're here to dry. We are using the air drying method or 
whatever. And hopefully in a couple of uh, days, weeks, we should start shelling them. Here's Tyson just picking up uh, some of the uh, soybean plants that were actually dropping from the car as the car was coming up here. And he's taking them back to join those heaps. Farmer's work is never done. That's money he's holding in his hand. You can't just leave it here lying around. So we've had a look at how we're heaping the soya beans uh, up at Riverview there. And I'm now walking down here. Uh, this is our compost um, facility house, composting community. Don't quite know what to name. And I'm walking down there, down there, where it's looking a bit yellowish, and fingers pointing hopefully. And that is um, Riverside 4. And that's where we planted the last of the soyas. And that one, had, we haven't really started harvesting, so we're gonna go take a closer look at it now. That's a uh, couple of blocks of uh, green beans. That is up there on Riverside. This is Riverside 4, A, B, and C into the, the shelter, the greenhouse there, and then there's D, E and F. So I'm coming down here. Uh, this one is do not film. Uh, you are, do not film where you're dropping. So um, cut. So this is Riverside 4. Some of you may remember Riverside 4D. We had our cucumbers in there um, last year, and that's a great video that we showed you a very successful crop. But as you go into summer, then you get into the next crop. And of course, we rotate with the legume, and it seemed a perfect idea to bring the soya beans uh, up here. I'm standing in a field of soya, mature ripening soya. Uh, let's do this. A little bit of shaking. Yeah, we're gonna get this soya out before it starts uh, shattering. And this is this weekend. How is it? Let's let's check this, the the moisture. Is. Sometimes you get it hot. Then you crack it open. Then check if they're still attached, like they are here. You will because they detach themselves. Then yeah, that's when they start doing the shaking. Yes. All right. So that's a good way of knowing if your beans is ready to to harvest. I'm sure many people on the channel will have different ideas. The other thing that's interesting is the color. So you've got a light yellow, mm -hmm. and then you've got some greens. Some are still green, yeah. as you can see as we look around here. Taking another closer final look at the soya that's here on the other side for uh, D. And you can see this beautiful sight of the yellowish, brownish, and then if you go closer, you see the soya bean pods standing. If I shake them, you're not getting the shaka 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 shaka. Now that shaka 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 shaka, as Tyson was explaining, is right, meaning that the, pod, the, the, the pods, the little beans, have detached from the pods, yeah, which is wrong with So that's the thing. And of course here, you can still see a green one. Iwe, slowly now iwe. This one is still green. Its friends have all moved and uh, he's still greenish and yellow choices. And look how tall he is. So. This was Afri seed Lukanga, our first time to plant it, our early maturing variety, and uh, we can only recommend it, Mandini. It was absolutely an excellent crop, and we're happy with what it is. Yes, others will have gotten a lot more yield out of perhaps varieties like Dina. Dina, 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 the one nobody can ever find or find quantities of. But I think for this year, our first crop, we are very happy with what, with what we've got. So we're here at Riverside 1, and uh, this is where this soya was. There's still a few in here. Uh, some of the greener ones will be coming in to get them in the, when they turn brown. So you recall the history of this place. We had onions here. We've had 
maize here. We've had um, cabbages and cauliflower here. This is the original part of the farm where we actually started from. So we're very happy now that we're able to have a good crop of nitrogen fixing uh, soybeans and we'll be able to give us something. This one is shaking. So we'll take it up. Here's one that's very brown. This one. More than the others. Look at the two. Yeah. So there you have it. We've had a very quick look at the beginning of the soya beans harvest for this year. Um, we're very happy with everything that's happened. Quite a lot of work has gone into bringing in the soya harvest from um, Jerusalem, from Riverside One, from Kennedy, and uh, we should be getting started with the harvest um, here at River Riverside Four as well. Mondo Farms is your place where you come to see what we're sharing in terms of uh, farming. Here we are on the outskirts of Chongwe, and we always show you different things about what we do. A lot of times it's how to do, how we do things. Remember, we will never show you how to do things. We just share how we do things. I get some comments sometimes from people who ask me very technical questions. Uh, that's Mwandini. I'm not going to answer. And there's thousands and thousands of videos. Uh, how do you fertilize onion? How do you do the X, Y, and Z? And they're all there. This one is about our journey and sharing what's happening here. Uh, with us at the farm hopefully that we'll be able to inspire a lot of people as we continue the agrarian re revolution. Zambia's got a population now of 18 million. We've never had so many people. The world is clocking 8 billion or something so we need to grow more food and we try and do our little bit here as we're developing our little enterprise here on the outskirts of Chongwe. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Please uh, like the video if you can. Um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, so many people subscribing and we're very happy. When you subscribe and you click that uh, the bell icon, then it will tell you whenever a new video comes, which is around about every 7 to 10 days or so. Um, also, uh, you can comment below if you have something interesting to comment. Uh, don't ask me where is Mondo Farms, please. I mean, literally, that's what Google is for. Um, but if you have something really interesting to comment or to, or to share, then we'd really like, like to hear that. And uh, you can also um, share the video and share the channel with others uh, who are interested in this sort of farming thing. My name is Jesse Fulati. I'd like to thank you very much uh, for being here with us on the Mondo Farms channel. See you soon. Bye-bye. Take care.